how I straighten up my hair. Yeah. Since I am now five years natural, I have decided that I'm going to start straightening my hair a little bit more. And because I have found a flat iron that actually works as far as keeping my hair straight and figured out the whole concoction that I need for my hair, I'm gonna share it with you and I'm gonna start heat training my hair so you will probably see me looking like this a little bit more. To achieve this hairstyle, I am going to be using the Irresistible Me Diamond Flat Iron. Ooh. I mean, like, I don't have to go into a whole lot of detail about how well it works because I think the proof is in the pudding. My hair has been straight for about a week now and this is probably like the absolute worst time of the year for anyone to straighten their hair because it's the rainy season in Texas which means that there's water, water reverts my hair, and there's humidity which is water which reverts my hair. So yeah, that it doesn't make sense to straighten my hair this time of year because my hair always reverts within two to three days unless I have it pulled back in a ponytail. And at the present moment, you can see that it's not pulled back in a ponytail and it's still bone straight. What? <laughs> so I use the Irresistible Me diamond flat iron for this hairstyle. I really like the Irresistible Me products. If you guys remember, I reviewed the curling wand on my natural hair a little while ago and it works awesome. The flat iron and the curling wand actually both have that awesome auto shut off technology and they both heat up within like 30 seconds so you don't have to wait long at all. Literally, I like turned the thing on, parted my hair to get ready to prep to straighten it and it was already hot and ready to go. The flat iron, just like the curling wand, has the LED screen to let you know how hot the flat iron is. I always have to take mine all the way up to 450 in order for anything to happen with my hair because for some reason anything less than the absolute max of 450 does not get my hair straight at all. The plates have these little diamond particles infused into them so that it keeps all of the oils, color, and moisture in your hair. And it leaves your hair healthy, shiny, and frizz free. So let me show you how this thing works in action. Before I used the flat iron, I had to do a little bit of prep work. I made this raw shea butter leave-in conditioner for my hair. Um, if you want to see the full tutorial on how I did that, and you can also enter a giveaway, check out the video. The link will be right here. I believe is what is keeping my hair from reverting, or at least a really, really big part of it, because the flat iron is definitely the other part. I went ahead and took a pretty generous amount of this and let it marinate in my hair for about an hour while I went for a workout. When I came back, I washed my hair with the Huave Moroccan Infusion Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm not very loyal to any shampoo or conditioner. If it works, I love it. There are many shampoos and conditioners that I do absolutely love, but my favorite drugstore line is Suave Professional. I washed the shea butter concoction that I made out of my hair, and then I did follow up with the Suave Conditioner. And I used my scalp massaging brush while I was washing and conditioning my hair just to make sure that my scalp was really, really, really clean. I do this every time I wash my hair, but this time in particular, I wanted to make sure that my scalp was absolutely clean since my hair is going to be straight for a couple of weeks. And I just did that because I wanted to make sure that my hair was really hydrated and really protected before I started putting all this heat in it. I let my hair air dry 50% before I do any type of styling to it. Once it's halfway dry, then I will go ahead and start applying Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioning Cream from the Sleek and Shine line. Then I will add the Suave Moroccan Argan Styling Oil. And finally, I will add my Suave Professional anti-frizz sleek cream just FYI this is a really really old packaging because I don't straighten my hair much. the new packaging actually looks like this 
So I'll break my hair down into four sections to make it a little bit more manageable. And then I'll do the lock method. And I will spray my hair down with my Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So once I get all the products worked into my hair, I'll go ahead and detangle that section. And then I'll twist it and wrap it up and clip it so that my hair can start stretching while I'm working on the other area. Once I get done with my whole head, I will pull out my handy dandy blow dryer. I will start to blow dry it on the coldest setting possible and the highest speed so that way I can finish air drying my hair and I use my wide tooth comb and gently pull all the way through to the ends of my hair once my hair is completely dry I'll get my round metal brush and I will basically do a blowout on my hair with medium or high heat it just really depends on that part of my hair because my hair does have different textures so they do require different heat settings. The back of my hair is a lot more tightly curled than the top of my hair is so the back of my hair definitely gets the highest heat setting while the top of my hair will only get a medium heat setting to try to prevent heat damage. Once I finish completely blow drying that section I'll go ahead and apply a little bit more of the heat protectant um, and then I'll twist my hair up and move on to the next section. I always add the heat protectant again just to make sure that my hair is covered and protected. This is what I believe helps to revert my hair when I get ready to wash it and go back to my curly hair. And now it's time for the fun part. It's time to straighten my hair with the flat iron. So I will take a very tiny section and do the chase method. So the chase method is where you take your flat iron and you will basically use your comb as a guide and gently and slowly pull your flat iron all the way through until you get to the end and it's going to release. Then what I like to do because the ends of my hair are very very curly and they're not going to get straight with one pass. It's just not going to happen. I like to take the flat iron again. So all in all it took me three hours to do my hair from the time I washed it to the time I finished flat ironing it. To maintain my hair I will to maintain my hair I did take just a little the tip of my finger full of the leave-in conditioner that I made and I applied that to the ends of my hair and then wrapped my hair. My hair is a little bit heavy right now with product because when I was recording the video uh, I did apply too much product but what will end up happening is as I wrap it and as I continue on and since it is so humid uh, it'll even itself out within a couple more days. After the first couple of nights of doing this, then I will switch over to my Suave Moroccan Argan Styling Oil and just use one pump of this and work it through my hair and then wrap my hair up to go to sleep. Then I put a stocking cap over my head at night because I found that that helps to keep my scarf on my head and it also helps to my hair stay lightweight. Guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. The links are in the description bar. And if you need more information about the products I use, definitely check out the blog post. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.